Bernardi Auto, they've got Audis, Hondas, and Toyotas. They are the ones who sponsor, who mass thinks is a fraud, and who's for real. Mass is tears. Yeah, those are the tears of the clown. Maz is tears. The second tier. Hold on, let me get my pen. Maz is tears. Dallas. Yeah. Buffalo. Tennessee. Maz is tears. Third tier. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me get my pen. Maz is tears. 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 And it is that time of the week again for Maz's Tears. It's presented by the Bernardi Automotive Group when it comes to auto dealers. The Bernardi Automotive Group always finishes top tier. They sell and service Acura, Audi, Honda, Nissan, Toyota, and Volvo vehicles. Bernardi for now, Bernardi for life. Visit them now at BernardiAutoGroup.com. As what do we got this week? Okay, this week we decided to go with worst coaching hires in the NFL in the last uh, since 1990, basically. Okay, We're, this is any team now, not just Patriots hires, because there's you know some criticism of the Gerard Mayo hiring. We don't know what we have here. Mm-hmm. So Mayo doesn't go into that c- category yet. Obviously, he hasn't uh, uh, coached a game yet. But there were some guys who you knew right out of the gate would fail. Other guys you knew uh, didn't know or you thought might be good. That really sucked. And so uh, we put these guys into three tiers. Okay, three tiers. We're going to start with tier three. But let me just say this up front quickly. I tried to limit the list to 20, 25 names. Because honestly, in that league, there's a lot of suck coaching. Oh my God! There is a, and there are a lot of suck bags we could have picked from. Believe me, I tell you, when you really go through and look at it, holy crap! So we are, we are trying to pick the special suckers. I mean, some of the names Maz and I were bandying about here during some of the commercial breaks, we were cracking up coming back from the breaks because some of them are just uh, they're atrocious. And again, some of these names you're going to say, well, "Who the hell was that guy?" You're not even going to remember him. He was so bad because he probably got fired halfway through his first season. But my guess is you're going to know a good number of names on this list. But again, we'll start with tier three. Tier three, worst coaching hires ever. Mike Ditka with the New Orleans Saints. The bad one. With the Saints. He was horrible. And he made that horrendous trade. He was in charge of the roster, too, with the Ricky Williams deal. Frank Reich this year with Carolina. First year of the contract. He wasn't as bad in Indianapolis. I'm not telling you he was good. But with Carolina, disaster. Murray offered up Vance Joseph of Denver. I agreed. There he is. Yeah, having the time of his life. (laughs) (laughs) Horrendous. A guy that I have no recollection of whatsoever, Mike Sarge Riley. Oh, which, they went one in fifteen in two thousand. That's a good poll. Murray. Oh was, yes, yes. He was fourteen and thirty-four in his career with the Chargers. I have no recollection of that guy whatsoever. None. I don't remember Sarge coaching. And Dick LeBeau with Cincinnati, also a disaster. Oh, there's one more name on the list. I forgot. Rick, Richie Pettibon. With the oh. uh with the he was only there one year. He went four and twelve, and that was it. Okay, but again. And you say, ah, you know, they can do better than that. Yes, we can do better than that. Those guys are going to be on tier two and tier one. So just work with us a little. But Dicka, underrated suck guy. <laughs> Seriously. No, underrated suck. Oh, he, he went to the Saints and boy, he had quit by then. Boy, did he suck. Tier two. Tier two. Tier two. Steve Spagnolo, St. Louis Rams. Oh, that was a disaster, yeah. He never got another chance. This was after he beat the Patriots right, in the right. Super Bowl. Never got another chance. He went 11 and 41 in his career with the, What did I say? Did I say St. Louis Rams? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thought, for some reason, I thought I said Saints. No, that's a guy that should just be a coordinator. He's good, he's good at what he does as a defensive coordinator. Yep. Matt Patricia, Detroit Lions. Oh, yeah. 13, 29, and 1. Incredibly, there were people who were a lot worse. But he was a freaking disaster. The Lions, by the way, on this list multiple times. Rod Marinelli, Detroit. Check this out. You know what his record was? <laughs> three what? and thirty-eight. Oh my God! That's unbelievable. Three, three and thirty-eight. I How was he there that long to compile a three and thirty-eight record? Excellent question by you. <laughs> Thank you. That's again. That's why you're in the chair you're in, right? <laughs> David Shula, Cincinnati, in the mid '90s. Bad. You, the old man's kid, 19 and 52. <laughs> oh, God, so bad. 
Uh, also, uh, the Lions aren't the only teams with multiple entries on this list. The Patriots are also there. Dick McPherson, 8-24. and 24. He was a fun coach. The, the fans liked him. They went 6-10 and 10 one year. They were ready to throw him a freaking parade. But he went 2-14 and 14 his last year. See you later. He sucked too. Kevin Gilbride, a uh, little over one year, 6-16 six and 16 with the Chargers. He's the guy that got in a fight, if I'm not mistaken, Mike, with Buddy Ryan when he was the yeah. offensive coordinator. You got it. In you Houston. got it. Yep, the Chuck and Duck. Uh, Lane Kiffin, who has sucked in more places than maybe any guy in America, 5-15. and 15. And Chris Palmer, who, correct me if I'm wrong, former Patriots quarterback coach, 5-27 and 27 in his coaching. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, 5-27 and 27 in his coaching career. Nice. Uh, now, Tier 1 is, a, is what I would call a very elite select group. I mean, you have to be what I would, again, I would categorize as a special kind of suck to be able to get on in Tier 1 of this list. If you're not one of these guys, then if you're not special, like truly special as a suck coach, you don't get into Tier 1. So here we go. Let's hit the music. Gus Bradley, Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. He went 14 and 48. Again, how do you stay long enough to go 14 and 48? And he was there. I think that's four full years. He was here four years and won 14 games. So he literally went like 3 and 13 every year, and they kept him. <laughs> Dave Campo. <laughs> Seriously, that's hard to do. No, it's. I mean, that's the story. I mean, another guy who never got another chance. And you'll see that's a common theme with the guys in Tier 1. <laughs> They got one shot, and that was it. It was over. Dave Campo, Dallas. I mean, it's Dallas. It's the Cowboys. He went 5-11 and 11 three years in a row. Three years in a row. Usually, you see a bad coach go 5-11, and 8-8, 4-12, and, eight, four and 12, then he's out. No, nope, not Campo. He was consistent suck. Cam Cameron, Miami. 1-15 in his only year as a head coach. Got one crack at it. Sucked. Just like Rod Rust, who's also in Tier 1, 1990 with the Patriots. Jim Tomsula, Tomsula of the Niners. Oh, God. To me, he's the poster boy of suck. That oh, doofus. 5-11. and 11. The team did a little bit better than I thought, but he was talking about a guy who was overmatched. And he was ripping farts in the press conferences, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy should have been like, he should have owned a diner or something. Yeah. You know? like that, that's, <laughs> that was his calling. Rich Kotite with the Jets. He had been also with the Eagles, if I'm not mistaken. But with the Jets, he was 4-28. and 28. Marty Morningwig with the Lions, 5-27. and 27. Nathaniel, don't call me Buddy Hackett, 4-11. Didn't even survive his first year with Denver. Get fired after 15 games. Hugh Jackson, 3-36. Three 3-36, and, 36. Three and 36, Hugh Jackson with the Browns. Bobby Petrino with Atlanta, 3-10. and 10. Also didn't make it through his first year. And... No list of complete suckbag NFL coaches <laughs> would be complete without Urban Meyer, who was one of the great embarrassments with the Jacksonville Jaguars, when 2-11 before they showed him the door and then kicked his ass right out of it. That Bobby Petrino thing, going back, he wasn't fired. He just left with, like, three or four games to go, if you look this up, and he left notes in the players' lockers saying, like, deuces in the air, I'm out, good luck. <laughs> okay, so, Murray, I didn't even I know know, he was one of the great terrible hires as a head coach in NFL history. I mean, so many of the guys, the guys in that first group lasted like one year or part of a second and then out. And, nope. and their records are horrendous. Their tenures were short. They never got another crack. The Gus Bradley one's great. For, how do you keep a guy there long enough yeah, right, to, have to that go kind of four record. and 40? And think of that. You know, <laughs> you know, that. That's a guy who had bar, pictures of the owner with barnyard animals. Yeah. 